Here's how to import video into an iPad or an iPhone. I'm using an iPad because I'm filming this on my iPhone. Apple makes a kit called a Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter kit. So that plugs into the Lightning port on your iPhone or iPad. So on one side, you've got a spot to put in a charger. And then on the other side, you've got a USB. This thing requires power to work. So a lot of people will buy this and plug it into their phone or their iPad and it'll say there's no power. So what you want to do is have a charger plugged into the wall, plugged into this. And then on the other end, um, some formats will work and some won't. The GoPro format works. Like if it's an MP4, then it'll work fine. So then you get a card reader, USB card reader. You jam your card into it. You plug the card reader into the USB port like that. Then you plug the whole thing into your iPad. Now this is interesting. So it says, cannot use accessory, USB storage, this accessory requires too much power. So if you see that, you can see over here, I'm using a regular phone charger. So I'm gonna have to use the actual iPad charger to give it enough power to run the USB stick. I should also mention that another option here would be to plug the USB cord into your camera and then plug the camera into this hole. And then sometimes it'll recognize the camera, sometimes it won't, depending on what kind of camera you have, but that might get you around the power deficiency problem as well. So we get the big Jungus charger, we plug that in. Here it go, ding. Okay. Then we go to movies, then we go to import. And now it's gonna slowly load you up thumbnails. So if you have a ton of stuff on your card, like I do, it's gonna load you up everything that you've got on the card. And then from here, you pick the one you want. Like let's say we want that one. And then you click the import button and import all, we'll get all of them and import selected, we'll just get the one you selected. So we hit import selected, import complete. And then it asks if you wanna delete the video from your camera and I'll tell it to keep it. And that's it. Then we can see the video on our iPad. And there's the video on the iPad. And from there you can edit it in iMovie and add effects and, and cut it up and do whatever you want. So. That's it. That's all there is to it. The biggest tricky part is getting enough power to the adapter.